How's it going everyone? It's Cardinal Smith here with another episode of Football Manager 2013 and the Let's Play series with Banbridge Town. So this is just a quick uh, off-season update. Uh, still with Banbridge, thankfully. Uh, the, uh, the new league is shortly about to kick off. It's just about to hit July. The transfer window is about to open. I, I'm really just going to show you this, um, there's been a few changes to the team and for one Almost everyone who's who is on a salary has gone, bar Connor Downey, who's about to leave because he doesn't want to sign a new contract, um, which is a shame because he's still young and I'd like to keep him on. But I had mentioned the changes were going to rain, and they are going, they will do. So I have a number of transfers hopefully coming in. Uh, first of all is Stephen Campbell, and I'm really pleased with this guy. Um, 29, he's experienced, but for 14 pace, you know, natural fitness, and that determination is 16, and the work rate. He plays in Kingsbury's position on the right hand side of the way, the right hand side, but he he was too good to turn down, um, and it that's it, you know, if finishing nine. He's going to be getting games this season in Kingsbury. Kingsbury is still young. Uh, we'll hopefully have to step up. Next coming in is Dylan Cobb. Dylan here coming from Lurgan Celtic Reserves is sort of a utility player at the back. He's not technically gifted, but he can hit a ball, mark and tackle. And you know he's pretty good physical stats and aggressive work rate. And he can play anywhere at the back. Um, and that's really what I need. Um, you know, he may be on the bench for a lot of the games, but it's it's going to strengthen my bench. So, next up, Aiden Fullerton. Now, I really needed a, a defensive midfielder. Um, someone between the defence and the midfield in that hole. And Aiden is hopefully going to do that job. He's young, so he's still got some improving to do. Um, he's predicted to be a decent, you know, Premier div Division defensive midfielder in the future, so that's great. He's got good pace, got good work rate and teamwork and tackling and some passing. And even a cheeky long shot might might come in handy too. Um, but but those are the stats I was really looking for. Um, most most of the midfielders I found could pass but couldn't tackle or could only tackle or something. So in while not amazing, is well rounded. Um, Owen Gregg uh, was a left back who I couldn't get. Next up, Mark Kelly. Now I, I'd be, re I needed new blood up front. Mark Kelly is looking pretty good to me. Uh, finishing of eleven, he can also dribble and a good first touch. Great composure, and uh, you know got some work rate in there, determination, but really good physical stats. Bar the stamina and strength. Um, but I'm going to be playing him as a, a poacher. I'm not really expecting strength's going to be, um, you know, a necessary stat. But I'm really pleased to get Mark in. And lastly, for now, uh, Johnny McSorley. Um, so he is going to be another utility player. But he will get more games for sure. Uh, he's currently on twenty pounds a week with uh, Arma in the reserves, but he's coming to me for nothing. He'll just get paid if he plays a game, um, like pretty much all my players now. No set weekly salary. Uh, he's got good pace, um, good passing, you know, and he good dribbling too, and corners and crossing, and he could work rate. But he may, he just, he can play left midfield, centre midfield, right midfield, and even up front if I need him to. I don't plan to play him up front, but. I, you know, it's more strength in, in backup. So, I'm really building on what I have. I don't want to, you know, sign just a, a whole heap of new players just for the sake of it. Now, you know, I'm trying to keep some balance. But, I will have to step up the game this season. Because, let's see, the minimum expectation for the board is to outright win the division this year. And that's going to be really hard. Even the sit, getting the Northern Irish Cup fourth round is expected. That's going to be really hard too. Um, but squad harmony is looking good. 
you know, we're all in the green here with the board. Unfortunately, finances are not in the green. Uh, but we're only minus uh, 3k now, so, and we were minus about 12,000 at the end of the last season. So so it's not looking too glum. Um, our wedge budget is a massive £22 per week. Huh? £22 per week with no transfer budget. <laughs> it's not a lot to work with. I really like some kind of budget. Uh, media are predicting a second, so you know hopefully that means that we've got a decent squad and there's more strength to come in. Um, I'll get all of those new players come January 1st, and then I'll start cutting uh, some of the dead wood out of the team. Uh, one key uh, person to leave is Ian McDowell. Uh, he was my assistant manager, and you know I, I was pretty pleased to get rid of him. He's about 33, 34. And it, uh, mm, 50 pounds a week, and he wasn't even that great an assistant manager. So I've had a few staff changes to um, Brian here, who's just disciplined, determined, and can work well with youngsters. And I build, I'm wanting to build a young team, so that's that's what I wanted. Interestingly, though, uh, young Ian McDowell took over uh, my assistant after he left. Uh, took over at the newly promoted Lower Maze. Um, so he's straight into management and uh, feels the two of us can be friends. Good. That's lovely. It's nice to have friends. But really, that's it. And we're about to head into the... Uh, the squad's about to come back and we're going to play a few friendlies. Um, so I'll come back very soon with a match. Just giving you a quick summer update. Have a good day. Peace.